I get asked this quite frequently. I think some people might want to copy and replicate exactly what I do each spring in terms of my spring show. And if you want to do the same, well, I'm going to tell you exactly what I ordered on my color blends order that I just placed. And I double checked and as of yesterday at least, all of these are still available. So what was my thought process this year in thinking about the thematic that I wanted to have for the front yard? Well, I wanted to do something a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit less sweet. I talked about it in my Daily Dose of Happiness newsletter yesterday. In the past, I have done lots of um, roses and kind of peachy reds and sorbet colors. And while I am not going to digress too much from that palette, I am going to make it slightly more elegant, I think, and slightly more sophisticated. So let's get started. To do that, what I am kind of thinking through is relying a little bit more heavily on purples rather than pinks. Now, if you have any kind of blooming shrubs in your landscape that are going to bloom simultaneously with your tulip bulb selections, then keep that in mind because you want to make sure that they are in the same color palette that they might have the same kind of warmth or coolness to the colors that you select. In my case, I have some uh, azaleas that bloom kind of a pinky red, a very dark kind of maroonish red, and then also some pale pinks and whites. So I like to pick up on the hues of those blooming azaleas. So, drum roll please, this is what I have ordered for this year, and we're gonna put a screenshot this at the end so you guys will know exactly what I ordered and in how many uh, and in what quantities. So I think normally, uh, I think of it this way. I pick my foundation blend. Now this is what I love about color blends. They have done all of the work for you. They have put together varieties that will do two things. They bloom over a long period of time. They're not one-shot wonders that bloom in one glorious flush, say in a week or two week period of time, and then they're done. These unfold over the course of the spring, some starting earlier, then there are some mid bloomers, and then there are some late bloomers within each blend. So that is the brilliance behind selecting a blend versus individual varieties. Now, when I first started to do bulbs, I put together all of my blends myself, being attentive to both of these things. But in this case, uh, they've done the work for you. The second thing that they take into account is the harmony of the different varieties in terms of color, size, uh, height, shape, so that the synergy between each individual variety is, is just really magnificent. So here you go. My baseline um, tulip blend was Pinotage, P-I-N-O-T-A-G-E. And this consists of uh, early bloomers, late bloomers, or whatever. All of the details we will put on the screenshot this. But it's a beautiful blend of what I would think of as purples and kind of a pinky purple. Some variegated lily-shaped tulips in both uh, those shades and white. And then a, a good representation of white itself. Now, the other kind of blend is one of my absolute new favorites, and it's one that I have to have every year. All the rest of these are new, and that's Vidal. It's a blend of different kinds of shapes, forms, and blue time, bloom times, all of white. So if you're one of those that likes that really sophisticated look of just white and green, Vidal is perfect for you. Somebody emailed me yesterday and was asking about some white blend blends. So I wholeheartedly recommend that. So Pinotage was my number one. Now what I want to do is then umph that up with a few more that bloom um, in different times, mid, some, um, early, mid, and late. So then I've selected some that are just solid. So it's one that's already included in the blend, but it will very much harmonize with the Pinotage. 
So I am also planting some misconfection, some, I told you about the Vidal, some purple ladies, and Stuart's going to put individual shots of all of these up so you can see what they look like in isolation. This is one I haven't tried before. I believe it's Verichique. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's kind of in a pinky purple and green. And those are the ones that I'm really going to concentrate on. Now, I also will take that into account in what I plant in my window box, which right now is filled with caladiums, but this fall will be filled with tulip bulbs so that the plantings on the porch mimic the plantings out in the garden. So I might have pots. Uh, last year I did lots in containers and I had this wonderful montage tapestry of different bulbs and uh, flowers blooming simultaneously on the front porch. So I'm taking all of that into consideration. Now, those are my tulips. I also ordered some hyacinths, some alliums, some uh, amaryllis, and I will also put that on the screenshot this so you'll know exactly which of those bulbs I am also trying out this year. So all of these are new to me. I intentionally did that, except for the Vidal, which is all white. The rest of these are new to me. I like that, as I said in my newsletter yesterday, sometimes you have to try new things to continually get that rush. I might like it more, I might like it less, but no matter what, it will be equally beautiful, I'm sure, very dramatic, and hopefully get me that more sophisticated, elegant quality that I want. So if you wanted to know exactly what Linda Vodder is planting this spring, you alone on LVTV have the inside scoop.